Hey, what's going on, guys? It's B. Avery here for another episode of Just My Opinion. This one right here, well, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this one right here is going to surprise no one. Netflix has canceled the season, uh, the season three of The Punisher and also Jessica Jones. This means that none of the Marvel Netflix shows are going to be Marvel Netflix shows anymore. It's just going to be Marvel shows on the platform, probably Disney+. Plus. Am I upset about this? Absolutely not. Um, I really don't care. Now, when Kevin was a Kevin, when Kevin, of course, Kevin Feige, when Kevin Feige announced phase three, uh, many, many, I can't remember if it was 2013 or 2014. I do remember that it was in the fall. And uh, he he announced the whole slate at that convention. You know, Infinity. we thought it was going to be Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. That's kind of around the same time that all these Marvel Netflix shows are being announced and stuff like that. I was so, so excited uh, as everybody else was. And then as things just kept being released, show after show, everyone was like, when are they going to tie it with the movies? These are not really crossed over and related. I, I was one of those people like, guys, relax. You know, they're going to cross it over. They're just going to wait until, you know, we get Infinity war part two and then you know that's when we're going to see daredevil and the punisher and jessica jones and luke cage iron fist all that team up with the avengers etc 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 and i was still thinking that up until a year ago up until a year and a half ago but you know then you know i, I just started saying to myself okay maybe these things aren't related and we have heard in the past rumors that you know kevin feige and jeff Loeb at marvel that's you know the president of uh the marvel films at marvel and, and tv that you know they don't always just kind of get along and things are kind of weird and things is it's kind of like just really two separate companies two separate divisions you know of course kevin feige and company have more power and it seems like you know that's just really apparent now now i am really happy that uh i don't want to say i'm really happy i just you know of course we're getting the disney plus streaming service we're going to be getting a falcon and um what was it no excuse me a scarlet witch and vision uh tv series we're going to be getting like a Fal uh, a falcon and bucky's tv series and we're going to be getting like like two more and you know i don't see why we can't get some type of you know iteration of these defender characters on there as well and i also heard that there is some clause in the contract that these characters can't pop up for like another two years that's fine as long as it's not like five years ten years i'm completely fine with that you know we you know let them cool down you know i even um i wouldn't even mind if they rebooted the whole thing and got new characters now my favorite out of these is the daredevil character and mike Coulter as luke cage i know that would suck for y'all because y'all probably really want to be a part of this you know uh the daredevil guy he was uh at some panel just talking about guys please sign a petition i gave my daughter an email to sign a petition so i think he's like really really passionate about this so it kind of sucks for him you know, but at the same time, you know, hey, I'm a fan over here. And while the Netflix Marvel shows were entertaining, um, they just really still did not have enough polish as I wanted, given those characters and what I know they have the potential for. You know, the Daredevil, even though it, some may not consider it the best movie, the Daredevil film that uh, 20th Century Fox did, I don't find it half bad. I really did enjoy it. And it seems like that Daredevil in that film and that iteration and that chapter had a little bit more abilities than the Daredevil in this uh, Marvel Netflix show. So I kind of want to see that type of Daredevil in the MCU. Also, Vincent D'Onofrio as the Kingpin. think he's a great actor. You know, he did a great job. But at the same time, I want my Kingpin to be bigger than life. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just swole for no dang reason. Got to walk through the door sideways swole with arms bigger than my whole body. Yeah, that may look... It, it, that's what works on a comic page. And we can't get that to necessarily transfer all the way to the silver screen. But something in that line, in, in that realm. And I, I just don't think that... Vincent D'Onofrio kind of pulled it off. So, I mean, uh, I'm not really happy about this. I'm not really sad about this. So first, when they announced that Iron Fist was canceled, I was like, I don't give a crap. The show sucks. Then it was like a week later, they was uh, talking about Luke Cage. And I'm like, hey, wait a minute. But I was like, you know, st more and more information started coming out about the streaming service. You know, and, and I, I, I just, just don't care. I mean, I would never even started. Now, I've seen one episode of Jessica Jones season two. I'm still in the middle of um, the Punisher season two. I think I'm on episode like five or six. I, I do plan on finishing and I am enjoying it. But, you know, I'm, I'm not just excited to get through it. 
But Deadline reported Marvel's The Punisher will not return for a third season on Netflix. Showrunner Steve Lightfoot, the terrific crew and exceptional cast, including John, star John Bernthal, deliver an acclaimed and compelling series for fans. And we are proud to showcase their work on Netflix for years to come. Also, we have here, in addition, in reviewing our Marvel program, we have decided that the upcoming third season will be the final season for Marvel's Jessica Jones. We are grateful for the showrunner Melissa Rosenberg and Kristen Ritter and the entire cast and crew for three incredible seasons of this groundbreaking groundbreaking series, which was recognized by the Peabody Awards, among many others. We are grateful to Marvel for five years of our fruitful partnership and thank passionate fans who have followed these series from the beginning. Now, um, I've also heard that Netflix was the one splitting most of the bill on this. So I can kind of understand. I, I don't know. I've also heard that they're billions of dollars in debt. You know, I mean, I don't I don't run a multi million dollar, multi billion dollar company either. So can't pretend like I know, but I'm not upset about this, guys. Uh, that's my point. Um, you know, we got so so many so much coming in the MCU via TV and film or the streaming service and film. And I, I think this is going to be a part of it as well. But guys, that is just my opinion for this news of The Punisher and Jessica Jones being canceled. What did you think? I mean, are you upset? Do you not care as much like I do? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And before you go, guys, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.